Ponsaluma leading out here at the World Championships. Pursuit competition five times around the 2.5 kilometer track and off he goes. He's only got a, an 11 second margin. Tizio will try and have different thoughts on that and very closely behind him is Jacqueline. They'll work together maybe to close down the lead. Dali uh, ready to explode and there's Johannes Tennisburg and Fio Maie. Well that's going to have momentum and those little uh, those big names uh, setting off so tight. And Ponsaluma might too early mistakes that pace probably a little bit tough to start with incredible isn't it incredible he shot the perfect score he's feeling good the pressure really is there so Johannes Tingis lane one Jacqueline the defending champion in lane two what a battle those were the two fighting it out for gold and silver a year ago in Antolz on the track, Johannes Tingisbo and Jacqueline have managed to open up only three seconds on the on the hunting pack. Well, there's the advantage for Jacqueline, and he will have loved to hear that miss from uh, Johannes Tingisbo. The defending champion is uh, looking very good. He was so, so excited about this race yesterday. Here we go, shoot number three, and Jacqueline on his own on the firing point. Here he goes. The wind is, uh, is really been kind. You can just see the flags gently flowing. He's gone fast How? again. And that is a slap in the face for Ligrid Samuelsson and Johannes Tingisburg. He's going to have a great lead coming into the final shoot. Anyone who misses now, you suspect, is out of the race for the gold medal. Three out of three, four out of four for Johannes Tingis. He misses the last one. De Thieu goes clear. So two Frenchmen, one and two, with Seb Samuelsson in third place. Just get a feeling that Jacqueline is, is trying to get the recovery in early now. 22 minutes on the clock. What, just a, over a minute 45 back to the range. Here we go. The defending champion right in the middle. That would have put the prone down. So would that. Two out of two. Slightly to the right. Four goes down. Five goes down. There is your answer. Incredible. Perfect shoot. That has to be the best standing shooting we've seen in a Pursuit World Championship at any stage over the last 20 years. Absolutely sensational. Your gold medal is in your screen right now. Jacqueline defending the title he won last year. The battle now for the silver and the bronze. Sweden, well, France and Norway. Detour throws one wide. That could be expensive, could be very expensive. Johannes Ting is trying to recover from his efforts on the tracks. He needs this one. It's the one that missed last time. And we have a Johannes Ting is both Samuelson fight on the tracks for the silver medal. That could be very, very interesting. Jacqueline defends the world title. He won in Antolz. That was a surprise. That was the coming of the man. And now he shows us that he is here to stay. Absolutely superb. Best shooting we've seen of the championship so far. 20 out of 20. And he wins in 31-22. And Samuelson out sprinting Johannes Tingisbo. I guess a silver for Samuelson meant more than it did for Johannes Tingisbo. <laughs> Across the line last year, I didn't believe that I was world champion. And you know, all this, all the, all the year of training, I was really near depression. Uh, I realized I uh, had dreams last year to be world champion. And it was too hard for me to continue. Uh, I, I thought I was not this kind of guy who always wants more. I was happy with my title and uh, inside me it was too hard to, to feel the, the passion who, who I am. It was a really hard question to answer this year and I knew after the sprint that I was already focused for the pursuit. Sometimes I thought it was a mistake because I always thinking about that since now 20, uh, 48 hours and I told me no, keep calm, try just to think about uh, work and not about results. But I mean, I, I just did, I just did uh, how I make biathlon. This is who I am. I'm able to, to make great race like this. For me, it's really hard to, to be able to have this level every time because sometimes my head don't want me to, to have uh, this kind of race, but I'm really happy and proud. Uh, yeah, more broad than last year for sure.
So the early starters are ready, 98 athletes. Dorothy Vera, uh, but this year she's down in 21st. Not, not such a good season for the two-time overall winner, Dorothy Vera, but uh, a win today would make up for it. And if she finishes first, then the uh, individual Crystal Globe is hers. Yeah, and she could well be Tyrell Ekhoff's main rival. I wonder what tactics we're going to see from Ekhoff. Very slow shooting by her standards in the sprint. Three golds out of three races. Can she make it four out of four, which is going to make it tough for herself. She is one of the quickest out there. So if anyone can afford a miss, it's Ekhoff, Mike. Uh, but I think she probably needs to go clean from now on in. Dorothy Vera with a miss. That could be so expensive for the defending champion. Big moment now for Hannah Urberg, the Olympic champion. Was leading after two shoots, missed one on shoot number three. Five out of five, and that will put some pressure onto Hauser of Austria. That's a nice shoot. That's a very, very nice shoot. Look at the time, 23.1. Not ridiculously fast, but fast enough to keep the pressure on the uh, opposition. Erberg across the line, 146 the margin. She's absolutely stormed that last loop. She is back to the form we saw from her at the beginning of the year. What about this from Davidova? Uh, we were saying that she hadn't shown too much form so far this year. But this is looking like a medal performance. The last two are the hardest two. That was steady. She waits, she waits, and down it goes. Marquita Davidova could be the athlete to upset Hannah Erberg. I think she's going to be comfortably inside, Mike. Yeah, a little bit of traffic to contend with, Mike, but... Uh, provided she stays on her feet, provided she doesn't get into any trouble. And look at that, she's absolutely ripping through the field. Makita Davidova. And Davidova finishes 27.9 ahead. 42.27, the leading time, probably going to be the winning time here. Tandrevold so close on so many occasions and that uh, might just be sniffing at a medal I think Mike that's an excellent run from Tandrevold Hauser on 157 behind she's way way inside that mark and Hauser is quicker but Tandrevold will hold on to that margin of just under 50 seconds Tandrevold 14th in the World Cup standing she's never won a World Cup five times She's finished in second place. I guess if she does get a podium today, that will go some way to making up for the fact she's never won. She goes into third, and she's uh, in a comfortable position at the moment. First place, Bill Rowley, and the world champion, Mateka Naida! A warm welcome to the final day of the Biathlon World Championships here in Pukuka. So the 30 best effectively, we've got the top 15 in the World Cup. We've got all the medalists from the championships so far. Uh, every shot effectively a 1.2% time uh, or distance penalty. Roisland gets five, having taken the first lap slowly. Simone came in fast, fast, but she's got shot so fast there, she's got three penalties. I would say that's her chances of a, of a medal almost over. And at the moment, it's Hauser in a good position, taking very steady shoot. The Totsi has four out of four. Oh, throws number five wide. Hauser gets number five. Ekhoff gets five. She's back in the running. This is the leading group. Lisa Teresa Hauser hitting 10 out of 10 so far. A loop for Tandra Volt and a loop for Tiril Ekhoff. Hauser, who hasn't missed a target so far. Can she make it 15? She does. Bendika goes with her. So Austria will be starting to uh, get excited. And it's been a really good championships for the Austrians. And in terms of ski speed, Mike, the leading pair climbing that hill quicker than everyone else. Both athletes working from left to right. A mistake from Ben Dika gives an opportunity to Ekhoff. Four out of four for Hauser so far. And the fifth one goes down. The perfect shoot. Herning celebrates. Hauser will be over the moon. Just watch the speed. She climbs the hill on the last shoot. Ekhoff 
taking a lot of time and throws number three wide. So she's now in the fight for the medals and Lisa Vitoxi with a chance to come through for the Italians. She's done it. She has done it. Vera struggling with a miss. Lisa Vitoxi should be quick enough to get Italy their first medal here in Pacuca. Look at that. Roysland and Tandravold perfect on the last shoot just when you need it. The Norwegians have closed from 12 seconds back to get right on the back of her skis and Ekhoff doesn't want to miss out on the fun either. Oh, wow, that's what a such finish a we've got coming. Such a pity. It looked like uh, Vitozzi may well be safe at 18 seconds behind Hauser. Then she had 10 seconds with Roisland uh, chasing her down. She's pulled that 10 seconds back already. Yeah, she's got to tuck in behind the Norwegians now. She shows good pace, good speed. I thought Roisland would have this one fairly easily, but she's got to think tactically. Ekhoff is coming back. She's so good in these technical corners. She's managed to pull back, I think, three or four seconds on this last 500 metres. Hauser is safe, and Tandervold has built a 10-metre gap. Is Roisland going to rise to strike? I suspect, Mike, that if it wasn't a teammate in front, we might see a bit more fight from Roisland. After her best ever season, the 27-year-old who comes from just outside Kitzbühel is taking her first world title to add to the silver that she got in the mixed relay. She adds to the medal that she got in the individual as well. Austria getting their first gold medal of these world championships in Pakuka. There she is, Hauser, a new star on the block. Here's the race for the medals, and it's uh, Roisland versus Ekhoff for the bronze medal. Tandrefold has excelled herself to come through and take the silver. Over. Will it be Ekhoff? Will it be Roisland? Ekhoff, remember, with five medals already, and she adds another one. Roisland misses out, but well done to Tandravold. That is an outstanding result to beat both of her teammates to the line. First place, the gold medalist and the world champion, Lisa Teresa to say now um, uh, I had four times zero the first um, time of the year and this happens in the world championships and um, yeah, it's just uh, unbelievable I'm here now on totally on top of the podium world champions in master so wow well, I don't know what to say don't say anything more enjoy the moment thank you very congratulations much. thanks